is ABC Action News. Now at 11, bloodied and bruised. A father catching a teen he says was in the act of sexually assaulting his son. I got him in a bloody puddle for you right now, officer. That father faced with an unimaginable situation. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jameson Euler. And I'm Wendy Ryan. Social media tonight buzzing about a dad taking justice into his own hands to protect his 11-year-old son. Our Alex Hobson joins us live in the newsroom with more. Alex? Well, at this very hour, take a look. The story has been shared more than 1,000 times on our Facebook page with folks speaking out overwhelmingly in support of the father who took matters into his own hands when he caught the alleged abuser he trusted as his son's babysitter. A beaten and bruised Raymond Frolander stood before a judge and didn't say a word during his first appearance in court. Daytona Beach police arresting Frolander for sexually assaulting an 11-year-old boy. His face severely bruised after the boy's father caught him in the act and then beat him unconscious. This phone call to 911 happened shortly after. I just walked in and found a grown man molesting... And I got him in a bloody puddle for you right now, officer. Okay, sir, well, sir, sir. You discover that he has been uh, sexually abusing him in your home? You know, father, father did what a father had to do. Police found Frolander motionless on the floor of the apartment where the sexual battery occurred. First responders had to take him to the hospital to be checked out. I can't give an ambulance. He's going to need one. Were there any weapons involved? My fist and my foot. Police say the victim told them Frolander had been assaulting him since he was eight years old. You think to yourself, here's a young man whose innocence was taken away from him. You know, eight, eight to 11-year-olds should be outside riding their bike and playing sports and playing video games. Frolander did not receive a bond and will stay in jail for the time being. Investigators are making sure he has not victimized any other children. And get this, police said Frolander admitted he had sexual relationship with the victim, reportedly saying, I'm guilty at the end of his interview with police. As for the father, he's not facing any criminal charges. Reporting live in the newsroom, Alex Thompson, ABC Action News.